honorable service, our noble calling to serve the nation. As soldiers and civilians in the active Army, Army National Guard, and United States Army Reserve, we celebrate our shared professional ethic, our commitment to the defense of this nation, and our legacy of honorable service since 1775. Together, as a total Army, we must renew the foundation of our Army's strength by demonstrating the character, competence, and commitment that are the hallmarks of an Army professional. The Army profession exists to provide for the common defense of the United States of America. Honorable service is the devotion to duty in defense of the nation consistent with the Army ethic. Honor is a vital part of the Army ethic, and it requires us to demonstrate our understanding of what is right. Honor integrates all of the Army values in the development of character for each Army professional. For our nation to have trust in us as a profession, all the professionals in it must serve honorably. Honorable service is a requirement, not an option. It's an imperative for leadership. And the military is based on leadership. For civilians, it means being part of the team, to serve honorably with the Army values, commitment, selfless service. Your service matters to the nation. And it means being on point, being a leader of character, being able to proceed in an honorable fashion. Army professionals live by Army values, with discipline and to standard, in the conduct of the mission and in performance of duty. The Army values form the professional identity that motivates us. I pledge to solemnly swear. Honorable service to the nation demands true faith and allegiance to the Constitution. It requires that we defend the rights and interests of the American people. So help me God. This is integral to the Army ethic. The Army ethic includes the values, beliefs, ideals, and principles held by our Army profession and embedded in our culture. The Army ethic is uh, what drives us to do the right things every day, both here stateside and also in combat. As drill sergeant, we're the, we're the standard bearers for honorable service and ethic and Army values. So when these young individuals come in to basic training, we show them exactly what right looks like. And it's imperative that we inculcate those young soldiers into the Army culture, because once they understand what the Army values are and Army ethics, then they can start to serve honor more. It's a moral code, it's a compass that fuels every soldier from general to private to make well-rounded decisions for themselves uh, but also for the organization, the Army. It's critically important that they trust the ethics of civilian members of the military just as much as they do the uniformed members. The U.S. Army is the strongest Army in the world, but what makes us different than most is that strong ethic and doing what's right and being values-based in everything that we do. Army professionals learn, internalize, and practice the Army ethic as the foundation of their devotion to duty and ethical conduct in the defense of and service to the nation. Devotion to duty is consistent with the Army ethic because at every touch point and every interaction, it has to be an ethical decision. When we joined our Army, whether we took an oath as a military member or as a civilian member, we made a pledge that we were going to provide honorable service, that we were going to do our best every single day for our nation. We do our duty under obligation. We go beyond our duty under aspiration. And so the moral component is what really gives lift and power to the concept of honorable service. I don't look at my work as just a job. I see it as, as a calling to serve. Every day I can get up, I can look in the mirror and I can be proud of who I am and what I accomplished that day. If I could teach one soldier one thing that was going to save their life in combat or make them a better person, th then I've been very successful in my career. It's an honorable way to give back to a country that gives so much to so many. True faith is that you believe in, without a doubt, what you're doing. When everything else goes away and you've got nothing else left at the end of the day, faith is what sustains you. Allegiance is that you're going to be loyal to what you believe in. By joining the Army profession, 
we dedicate ourselves to honorable service, to being leaders of character. Violations of the Army ethic erode the trust that we have earned in both our internal and external relationships. When I see a violation of the Army ethic, what I do and I instill in my young leaders all the way down to the youngest private, it doesn't matter what rank you are, address that person. Because a lot of the younger soldiers, they'll just go with what they see. But if an NCO is there to correct them, they'll understand why they can't wear what they're wearing or why they can't say what they're saying. So to make those on-spot corrections with our fellow soldiers, either above or even lower, is important because it helps maintain that standard in the United States Army. And so I think in that regard, it, it's critical to the success of the Army that we develop this understanding, this deep understanding, that our actions don't reflect on ourselves, but on our organization and who we are and what we're doing. Doing what is right often demands courage. Despite the risk, the uncertainty, and the fear, it's the duty of Army professionals to demonstrate the competence, character, and commitment to do what is right. If you don't have the character to stand up and make the right corrections, or you don't have the commitment to make those corrections, then it, it doesn't matter how competent you are. The Army values segue into our character, the kind of people that the Army expects us to be and the decisions they expect us to make. If we too develop this same character that's espoused by the military, it makes it easier for us to all act as one team moving towards one goal with a common outcome. Accomplishing the mission in the right way shows that we have individual professionals of high character that can do the toughest of things, even in the toughest of times. What's going to come out at that particular moment of crisis is the right thing, the harder right all the time. So character is the embodiment of those values so that they haven't been internalized by each one of us. Making a difficult choice often requires us to stand strong, to uphold the Army ethic, to prevent misconduct, to support each other in the conduct of duty, and to do what is right to stop unethical practices. It requires courage for you to stand up and say, hey, I'm not gonna tolerate this. That's what it means to have some moral courage to say, I, something's going wrong, I'm gonna say something. I want my country back to me. Not being a bystander. You stand up for what you believe and stopping some of those things that may be happening around you, like sexual assault. Because when the American people see honorable service, there's trust. When they see dishonorable service, for whatever reason, there's a chink in that trust. It's critically important that we not only hold ourselves accountable, but we hold others accountable because there's nothing that we do in the Army that's not a team approach. And as a leader, it also means that I'm setting that example for others. It's essential that we include character training in each one of our levels of non-commissioned officer education, our functional courses, and our day-to-day -day engagements with every one of our soldiers and our peers. In order to be a good leader at the top, you have to practice good leadership all the way through your career. So that as we proceed in our professional military education, we understand what right looks like, that we honorably serve for our nation. Our profession is built on the bedrock of trust, the trust that we will care for one another. Our soldiers, their families, and the American people are counting on us to do what is right, to serve honorably, and to exemplify Army values in our daily walk.